Hey guys. Hello. Hi, April, Shauna, Stacy. Um, I just decided to come on a few minutes before to test out my settings. Should be okay now. So let me know if it's clear or... Hi, Kathy. Were you there this afternoon? I don't think you were. Um, Gail, Braddy, Patty. Can you hear me okay? Allô, oui, c'est clair. Okay, allô, Anne. <laughs> Uh, hopefully this session will go a little bit better. Thanks to Jean who walked me uh, through all the parameters with Manicam. That's why you're seeing that logo at the bottom of your screen. Hey, Jean. It works. <laughs> Thanks so much. You're a gem. Hi, Donna. CB. Betty. Nikki. Oh, my gosh. Okay, cool. Stacy, of course. Good. Yay. All right. So um, for those of you that are watching the recording, uh, this was a live stream session. And um, it's kind of like a repeat of what I attempted to do this afternoon. The settings uh, were not working well for us. <laughs> and so the session was uh, cut short. And now I think we're good to go. I can even switch effortlessly from one cam to another. Let's test it out. Yay. Oh, and it's not reversed. It's the right way. Magic. Magic, magic. Bonjour, Jocelyn. All these names that I've never seen before. Jacqueline. Um, Galena. Send that salad my way, Jean. Oh, yum. You're having a salad, Jean? Allô, Diane. <laughs> De la Florida. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you the paper that I worked on this afternoon because I, I want to see if one camera is better than the other. So this camera here is my computer camera. And this is what I worked on this afternoon. It's a big old mess. But I wanted you to see the shimmer on the paints, I guess. Let me flip to the other camera. It is pretty, right? <laughs> yes, we can all thank Jean for helping me. She was awesome. All right, so let's see here. I'm not sure how well the camera is gonna pick up all the shimmer. Isn't that cool? Uh, where's that blue? Yeah, the, the smaller shimmer, shimmer will probably not be picked up well. But, yeah, it's very prettiness. And these are the little pieces that I cut out. You can see oh, this way. <laughs> the shimmer on all of them. So I'm going to make pretties with this. So what I thought I was going to do is repeat the process before I cut more into the sheet. Forgive me if I'm not paying attention to the chat much. I'm very new to this. This is my second stream. Oh, Gayla, did you put yourself as moderator or is that like a once in, in a lifetime thing and you're my moderator forever? <laughs> just for good measure, just because, just in case, um... Gala doesn't behave properly. Let's put two mods. If you don't mind, Jean. Okay. All right. Forever. <laughs> oh, I am blessed. Gala is forever my mod. <laughs> Thanks, Jean. Okay, so what I thought I was going to do is repeat the process, but before I want to show uh, you or some that were not in the stream this afternoon, this is what I'm making. So these are the only pretties 
that I have left. I only have like these four cards. That's not going to uh, last me long. But essentially, these little things are these, and they start with this. So I just cut into it and um, doodle inside of them and all that jazz. So, hi, Joan. My gosh, you're still up. Hi, so oh, is that Kira? I believe Sarah, I think, is pronounced Kira. Am I correct? I think so. Okay. So I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to put this to the side and we're going to paint a new, a new uh, paper. My God, Joan, you're a trooper. <laughs> you truly are a trooper. Okay. So I'm going to do probably two papers at the same time. So these are my rejects. Uh, an infinite number of my rejects, not an infinite, a small number of my rejects. I have plenty. Hi, Kimberly. It's Kira. Okay, good. I got it right. Okay. Uh, I'm tempted to use this. It's almost bare, but I kind of like this one here because it's got all kinds of interesting things. So we'll start with that. Hi, Lorraine. Okay, so I'm gonna get my uh, paints ready. And for the paints, I'm using mostly, I'm using um, Aquanut paints by Xanadu Studio. And if you were in the live stream this afternoon, I actually did a giveaway because you guys were troopers. <laughs> You stuck till the very end. <laughs> Much better picture, right? Yeah. Um, I have to say it was partly my fault. <laughs> Jean and I are the only ones that know the secret, but uh, it was not entirely um, Manny Cam's fault. But uh, we will not repeat that mistake. Hi from Ocean City, Maryland. Hi, Gail. Okay. So... I just re-wetted my paints. Um, I'm also going to get rid of uh, some paint that I have in a dish here because it's been sitting on my desk for a while, taking up some valuable <laughs> real estate. So I'm probably going to use it on this guy here. So let's do this one here first. Should I zoom in closer? Oh, let's try to zoom in a little bit closer. Whoa. All right. How's that? Hi, Mitzi. Okay. Oh, I was going to dip in my tea. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. All right. So let's add this. Uh, this, I do believe, is... Shell Pink by Shin Han. So as I did this afternoon again, and as I did previously with my pretties, look at that zoom. I know CB, right? <laughs> I feel all modern and stuff, and that's all because of Jean. <laughs> oh, look at that zoom. I can zoom in and out. I can show you my big fat belly. <laughs> we won't do that. <laughs> uh. Hi, Michelle, Sandy. All right, so this is Quinn Coral, which I, I love these colors together. So I'm just layering some more color on top of ugly colors. Like, <laughs> this is just adding more. And because, I mean, I'm not really wasting my paint. The way I see it is this paint was just dormant on my desk. And so I'm just grabbing it and recycling and making more stuff. Um, if you have a question, you can type it in all caps to attract my attention because I'm not experienced yet. <laughs> 
it'll be easier for me to see your question. Is the sound okay? Um, I played with the gain a bit on my microphone. I have a Yeti microphone. Is it too loud, too low, just perfect? Ooh. These colors are kind of cool just on their own. What if I just leave it like that? What if I just use these colors? Parfait, merci Anne. Yay! Woohoo! I'm very excited. <laughs> very excited. Okay, I'm going to drop in some darker um, spots just to see. This thing is kind of loaded with water at the moment, so that's why I'm going to make a few. Now, this one is Jaune Brillant, but it's not going to show much because it's the other colors are kind of overpowering it. But um, let's add it anyway. A little bit of that Quinn here. And uh, it doesn't make sense what I'm doing right now. It's just, you know, layering. You've seen me do pretties before, most of you anyways. But this time I'm strictly using um, watercolors and not paint or um, gesso. Uh, you know what? I'm curious to see. Question, which brand is the Jaune Brillant? Very good question. It is... I have to go get my other palette. Hold on. Um, not this one. Because I buy different brands. So. so the Jean Brillant number one is Holbein. I also have the number two, which is kind of like a peachy color. But I do prefer the number one. Hey, Kathy, why did you have to quit and come back? What is your shell pink? The shell pink I'm using is Shin Han. Uh, I love Shin Han. Shin Han paints are really good. The ones I have anyways. Uh, this is the shell pink that um, I was waiting for all my life when I found that I was really excited. Okay, you know what? I'm going to drop. Do you have any idea when you start or is it just random? Christine, most of my paintings are uh, intuitive. So usually I don't have an idea. I'm not really doing a painting tonight. This is a different kind of, um, of activity, but... Um, usually when I paint, I prefer to work intuitively because when I go in with a plan, uh, it does fail sometimes, <laughs> but, uh, when I do work for my patrons, cause I do have a Patreon account. When I do work for my patrons, I tend to have a sketch and do something a little bit more involved. Uh, like the last one that I did. Hold on. I'm going to show you. Well, I like the green there. Let's add that in. Yeah, Betty. Uh, hi, Betty. <laughs> yeah, it is nice. I'm kind of liking this color scheme. I did use it on a painting or a couple of painting. <clears throat> and uh, forgive me if I forget who asked questions and whatnot. I'm terrible with names. Okay. Um, okay, so this is kind of like the type of work that I do for Patreon. Not all the time, but um, this is more involved. So this is the last one that I did. And then earlier in the month, I did this girl here. Oh, there's lots of shimmer on her. There we go. So these were sketched out. And when I do these, I have like a full plan. I have a worksheet that I share with my patrons and all that. So that's the other kind of work that I do. <laughs> but yeah, most of the time it starts intuitively and then something will develop. Do you prefer watercolor or acrylic? Definitely watercolor, without a doubt. I've been on a, oh, thank you, Joan. I've been on a watercolor kick for two and a half years now, I believe. 
Okay, so I'm going to put this one to, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you guys forgot to remind me that I need to add. I'm waiting for someone to mention it in the chat. Yay, Shana, you win. <laughs> My undying respect and admiration. <laughs> oh, I need to add gold before before I let this dry. Um, I'm gonna add this sun gold, which is a color I mixed at Kramer. It's it's unbelievable. Oh. Okay, hold on. Will it show? It doesn't show the same way that I see it, obviously. When it dries, it's going to be a little bit more pronounced. I'm just, I'm not going to flick because Jean's going to have a, a heart attack if I keep flicking. I did do some vigorous flicking this afternoon. Maybe that's what broke the connection. <laughs> yes, Christine, you're absolutely right. This is the perfect way to get out of a slump by doing this kind of stuff. It's like an exercise. It's a no brainer. There's no mistake. You just go wild and you know, you're still practicing at the same time because it's still using watercolor so yeah that's going to be a little bit more visible see it it shows oh really oh okay not to its full potential though i have to say it's it's quite reflective there you go all right so let me put this one aside i'm gonna work on this one now this is b paper but it's 90 pound. I ordered the wrong stuff the first time. Uh, don't worry, they do it to me. All the okay. Made it back. I missed some of the chat. I do apologize. Hi, Patty. Oui, on le voit très bien. Okay. Bon, mais c'est bon. So pretty with the gold. Yes. We should get the sun gold. Um, yeah, I know. I know. I think Xander and I were really lucky to get that jar. They actually divided into two to give one to each of us. Oh, it's Oakley's birthday. Happy birthday, Oakley. Wait, let me see if I can do an imitation, Oakley. Oh, my God, it's my birthday. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can imitate Oakley better than its owner. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the other one. On this one, I'm going to use some of Aquanut's colors. These are the new colors that Margaret sent me. <coughs> Excuse me. And they are yummy. Um, I couldn't see the name of these paints earlier. So this is Comet. Uh, this one is Eclipse. And that one is... Ah. Venus. Yeah, Venus. All right. And this one is super reflective, very shimmery. It's beautiful. And this one reminds me of Rose of Ultramarine by Daniel Smith. <clears throat> okay. I just opened them so I didn't have a chance to put the little magnets underneath. Mind you, this is a plastic palette. So <laughs> It wouldn't do much. But this is like a pure metallic color. It's absolutely stunning. So again, just adting the color willy-nilly, 
no plans whatsoever. Oh, JC, are you talking about uh, Xanadu's website? The color swatches wouldn't load. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, um, Rose of Ultramarine Akira is amazing. Yeah, um, it was all Xandra's fault that I have it now. She introduced me to it. Bit of blue down here. Uh, my brush is a number 12 silver by Black Velvet. It's a large round. The brush that you're using for this type of work doesn't really matter. It's whatever you're comfortable with. I want to have the blue dancing on the black. I heard somewhere you used to do a lot of mixed media. Just wondering what made you decide to switch to watercolors and are you self-taught or do you take, did you take a lot of classes? I am self-taught. Uh, hi, Gail. I, um, I switched to mixed media. Yes. Uh, not to switch me. Okay. Let me backtrack. I started kind of like everybody as a card maker slash scrapbooker in early 2000. And then I switched to mixed media. My friend Gigi introduced me to mixed media. Uh, but two and a half years ago, I just started watercoloring and that was it. I was, I was lost to it. <laughs> and uh, I took a few mixed media classes, but I never took watercolor classes. Uh, I kind of, um, I used to draw when I was young. So I don't know if it helped because, you know, it might have been um, what pushed me towards watercolor, I guess. I don't know. Oh, you're playing along with me, Stacy. What are you doing? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the paper that I use. Hmm. It depends what I want to do. If I want a lot of texture, I will use Arches Rough Green. That is probably my all-time favorite paper, but it it's uh, it's tricky. It's very lumpy bumpy, but it's awesome. Um, as <laughs> we'll suck the rest of us down, <laughs> Patty. <laughs> um, I enjoy. Working uh, lately, I've discovered B paper, uh, the the 140 pound weight. I also use local a local paper called Canal paper that I really like. That's 100% cotton. I do prefer 100% cotton as opposed to cellulose paper. But having said that, I do like oh that's not what I wanted to use. I do like the Canson XL as long as it's 140 pound at least. Um, it's a sturdy paper and it does the job pretty well and it's fairly inexpensive. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. But, you know, it's paper is very personal, uh, the same as anything else, paint and brushes. When it all boils down to you is make sure that you use artist grade. I think it makes a big difference. Um at least not student grade. There's like kind of like an in-between that you can get away with. Um, and you just have to experiment with the different papers. But make sure that the paper is at least 140 pounds. Uh, just random shapes. Cool. That's how you get out of your funk. You only ended up playing paper. <laughs> I've been acrylic free for a while. <laughs> this sounds like an AA commercial. Hi, my name is CC and I'm a WC addict. No more acrylic paint. <laughs> oh. oh, 
Uh, hold on, oh, wow, the chat's going like crazy. Um, April, you said the last part of your Canson Excel almost has a resist to it? Oh no, did they change their formula? Oh, that's too bad. I haven't bought a new one yet. Uh, Kim, yes, I'm doing October again. But I, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to record. Maybe random random recording sessions, but um, not all of them because I, I don't have time. I really don't. Uh, what paint do you... I, I started out with... Uh, here, I'll show you. A little Kopman set. It's not artist grade per se, but it's not student grade. And I think this set is sufficient for a beginner. So it's the Cotman, C-O-T-T-M-A-N, uh, by Windsor and Newton. And I got it at Michael's. I think I had a coupon. And these colors is all you need to start. You can mix pretty much every color in the rainbow with just these. And I still use it to this day. I really like it. So I think that's a good investment. And then you can move up. I mean, if you feel confident and you know you want to try some more paints like artist grade paints then you can probably move to daniel smith sennelier Magello. there's a ton of them out there a ton make sure you get good paper though make sure you get 140 pound um can't sound like used to be okay but now i'm a little bit hesitant given uh what april just mentioned uh if you can afford it i would suggest arches 100 percent cotton um, or temperamental I want to say to begin with yes yeah, Shauna you're absolutely right cotton is a good starter one um, okay let's see I'm trying to answer as many questions as possible guys Shinhan is a great starter set oh for under 30 if you can grab that that would be a good starter set too how many colors is that Debbie Yeah, and the B paper at 140 is a good is a good paper as well. Okay, Jean, have a good dinner. Um, hey Zandra. Lucas paint is a great is a great brand. I don't know Lucas. J'ai pas encore acheté non non j'utilise la tradition de la gomme arabique pour voir si je vais aimer peindre de l'aquarelle ah oh, okay tu fais tes propres peintures Anne sorry that's French because I I have um, a few French French people in here all right I'm gonna keep on painting for a little bit because um, I don't know what happened here but I have a few black spots on my paper. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. <laughs> okay, let's add some gold, 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 gold on here because it's looking a little bit too uninteresting for me. Although there is a nice shimmer, but let's woo, let's go wild. Yes. All right. Done. Next. <laughs> okay. This one here. Renaissance is a good value. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> April, don't tease me. So for those of you who don't know, uh, April, a little creative on this chat, is a reseller of Renaissance watercolor paints. And <laughs> from, saw from other YouTubers, they're great. And April has sent me a set to try. <laughs> so I've been holding off until she had stock in her store and could ship to Canada because she can now. And so that's my uh, next, my next toy to play with. Oh, so excited. Okay. So what do I do with this one? Cause it's got some beautiful intricate designs. I hate to cover that up, but I will. Cause I can. Um, I do have this dreamsicle. See that's ooh, not exactly the direction I wanted to go, but we'll play with that for now. Oh, 
Um, April, uh, not April, but it's Andrea or uh, Gail, if you could put April's uh, link, if you have it, for her store on Etsy to get the paints. Because I don't know with my heart. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's see here. How about the wedding bells? No, 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 not this. Thank you, Sandra. And I do believe now she has um, paints in tube as well as pans. All right, you know what? I'm gonna switch to this cascade green, I believe, just so I can use it all up. Hmm, doesn't look all that great with the orange. Of course, orange is a tough one. Um, let's use that raspberry. I keep going back to that raspberry color because it's really nice. And it mixes well with that orange as well. Oh, where's Zendra's whale steel? Here it is. You're sold out of the tubes. <laughs> oh, not all of them. Okay. Yeah, I'm waiting for another order. Okay, yeah, they're um, her paints are from Poland, and I've seen um, oh the video by uh, oh what's her face, the frugal crafter. I've seen her video on your paints, and she was really liking them. Okay, 70 colors, wow. Okay, that's quite a bit of colors. I'm liking this pop of green here, so I might just grab, I do believe this was green gold, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna add that somewhere else. Whoa, might not have been green gold. <laughs> Might have been say a little green light, but that's okay. Ooh, I'm liking this here. This is nice. Okay. Yeah, Frugal Crafter gave a very good review. I'm very excited to try it. I, I'm gonna swatch them uh, probably offline though, and then uh, I'm going to paint with them. Okay, this is black. I'm going in, guys. <laughs> I need black. Black is the other gold. Here we go. You know, <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> Again, <laughs> PG-13, not repeating that. <laughs> Should I spray on this before I put it aside? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I love my ink tents, Kim. Hi, Gazur. Azur? Azur? Oops. I sprayed my keyboard. <laughs> okay. Fine mist. 
and it's lifting little bubbles of color, which I, I appreciate that. All right, next. One more, and then I'm going to start stenciling. Oh, was that it? No, there's another one. Oh, we're done. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the first one. I'm going to give it a little zap with the heat tool. Heat tool. What does Eileen hate? <laughs> yeah, I don't do too many lives, uh, Azura. I'm glad you weren't here this afternoon. You wouldn't have said that. It was a complete fail. My settings were really wrong. Where's the... I know, right, Patty? This one, I don't know. I had that cascade green on there, and it looked really nice when it was wet. Um, I'm probably going to have to... Oh, Patty, I see something. <laughs> I didn't do this on purpose, Patty. <laughs> ah. Do you use ink tents? I have used them from time to time. I love ink tents pencils. They're, I think they're great. Uh, of course, it's not like watercolor. They're not as forgiving. But if you use um, uh, a brush to tip, then that's fine. You caught my disease yet, Patty? <laughs> I don't know if it's a disease. If it is, hey, it's not a bad one to have. Okay, so should I add more green to this? Like cascade green? <laughs> Kathy's, Kathy is having some regrets. Yeah, what happened to PG-13? I lied. <laughs> I lied, Kira. <laughs> Some things you just can't help. They just appear. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> oh, what the heck. Here we go. <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> Do you want me to cover it up? Hold on. <laughs> it just won't go away. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's anatomy illustration. <laughs> Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> I might have to flick some gold on this. It's nature. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think I need to add black to it. <laughs> you can't unsee it. Once you've seen it once, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Jean, you're having some te technical difficulties. Do you want me to help you? <laughs> I'm a pro now. Oh, Patty, I think you were right. It needed some black. Look at that. Makes everything pop. Even my shirt. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm going to dry this. We're not done anyways, guys, right? Like, this is just the preliminary. <laughs> Jean, you like that, huh? I am an expert now. <laughs> that will be one of your special areas to make a pretty. <laughs> Take, oh, it, there it is. I thought it had disappeared. It's still there. <laughs> Gail, you want a bigger picture? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I was a quick study, Jean. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but the fun add on will probably come with a paid version. I'm not really ready for that yet, but I can do picture on picture. That's great. <laughs> are crazy. I'm an organic painter. <laughs> uh, 
I guess you can call it that. <laughs> Where's Waldo? <laughs> right here. Parts of him anyways. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> I don't think it will shrink. Uh, I'm getting hot here. <laughs> uh, who said watercolor was quiet and not fun? Yeah. All right, <laughs> I'm going to draw the other ones too. <laughs> This one's really shimmery. <gasps> Gayla, you don't need glasses to see that one. It's pretty, pretty visible. Diane, t'es toi. Repose tes petites jambes et pas de commentaires. Angela, do you need a diaper? Uh, <laughs> in the sweater? I'd have to have very small needles for that. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'm really hot right now. <laughs> Monique, you're mi you missed all the fun. <laughs> uh, okay. Un peu de sérieux. So, what I'm going to do now is switch to uh, removing with stencils. Somehow I really cannot erase that picture from my head. Allô, <laughs> uh. quel est do coco? Quel est do coco? De où es-tu? Du Canada ou de la France? It depends moment. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let me put those paints to the side so I can have more room. Uh, to answer your question, Kalido, we're doing some pretties. We're making some pretties. So these are just rejected uh, paintings that I added more paint over. And now I'm going to remove the paint that I laid down. <laughs> Oh, Stacy, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's better if you have headphones on, Stacy. That way, he's not gonna prohibit you for, from watching my videos. Okay, so I have some of Joan's stencils and some of Patty's stencils, and these are sold from by I Stencils. Do you use the Shinhan? Uh, professional watercolor. Yes, Kim. I have a few colors by Shin Han. Okay, so um, I've played with some of these this afternoon. I've played with this one, which is a great one. Um, <laughs> and is this one of Jones? No, that's Patty's. Okay, so the ones on top, this one is by Jones. She had given us this uh, in Maryland, but uh, apparently it's going to make it in the next run. So I'm very excited about this one. This is also Jones and I've used it this afternoon. That center reminds me of Rose's center. So that was fitting. I used this one as well. This one's gorgeous too. This on a big painting would be awesome. Um... I use this one as well. I painted with watercolor and I'll try to do that again. Yes, Jean, uh, Shin Han professional watercolors are amazing. Quelle est la marque de ces beaux pochoirs, s'il te plaît? Okay, so uh, let me see here. I'm going to give you a link. Oops. Hello. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Zandra. <laughs> so um, this Zandra just posted the link to eye stencils and hold on. 
So some of these stencils that I have here are under Patty Tolley Parish's name when you get to ice stencils and you'll be able to find Jones stencils as well in there. So Jones are under uh, Patty's header and they're great because they're all geometric shapes and those are the ones that I like. I don't like stencils that are too representative. I like them to be nondescript so that you can use them, you know, in any way you can. Uh, oui, c'est une marque américaine, Caledo. Darlene, yes, you just started using Daniel Smith. They're amazing. Uh, you know, in reality, all of the artist grade paints are wonderful. Uh, it depends on your preference. I like creamy paints. So I do love Daniel Smith for their Primatech line, the ones that are made from ground stone, genuine stone. But I have to say that I prefer a creamier watercolor. So for me, Sennelier, Shinhan, uh, Mijello, these are all great paints. Uh, those are my preferences. Again, you know, like I love Daniel Smith because they have so many colors, but yeah. So the numbers here, I'm going to try and show you one here. So Patty stencils, you will see on the website, see it? PTP 070 and Jones RJS. Uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. I have to hit it just so that here. JS007. But they're all under Patty's Heather. 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 <laughs> okay. I have not used this. I have not used this. I have not used any of the other ones. So I will now use those. And Graham, I only have one, one or two color of M. Graham uh, paints, and, and they're great. I like them too, they're creamy. <coughs> yes, Cece is in Canada. <laughs> Who's asking? You live in Canada or America, Cece? Caledo, je demeure au Canada, au Québec. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do with these stencils is remove or lift some of the colors. You've seen Zandra and Patty do it. Um, we all use the same thing now. We're using Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. I got this at my dollar store, but it usually comes in bigger packages if you buy it at the grocery store or Walmart or something. And I just, I cut it up and wet it and ring it and now I'm going to use it. So I just rub gently and what I like sometimes is that it will carry the paint that you have into other sections and that's always fun too. But if you want a cleaner lift you just have to rotate your sponges. And the same thing with the stenciling. I'm not thinking too much where I apply everything. It's just, it's random. And I like that. Because this is not the final step anyways. Okay. So you see how I see the stencil now through all these colors? I'm going to do it here at the bottom as well. Here, I'm going to twist it this way. <laughs> Sandra, you type French. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, is a regular, uh, a regular sponge might not give you that effect. The cool thing about the magic eraser is that th it's abrasive. So you don't have to rub too hard and it just lifts perfectly. A regular sponge, I've done it before, but you have to work at it. I used to, you can use a baby wipe too. Here, I'll use a baby wipe just to show you. 
Uh, the baby wipe, make sure that it's not too wet. So I always squeeze out the excess water. And you do have to rub a little bit, but it works. It does work. It's just that I find with the magic eraser, you don't have to work too hard. And it really does get right down to almost the paper. Like, you know, the... Not the white, white, but it does a very good job. So here it is. See it? Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? I'm not done. <laughs> we need to use another stencil. All right. Next, Vila. Um, I'm not even going to pick and choose. I'm just going to grab the first one that comes. Oh, I like this one, though. This one is... So the first one that I used is... It's a, one of Joan's stencils. It's Sun, Stars, and Comets. And it's number JS006. I think it's cool. Yeah, Jean, the baby wipes. Yeah, no aloe or other creams. Yeah. I get mine at Costco. It's the Kirkland brand. It's this one. It works. Oh, yeah. Whole binds are great, too. Yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking this, but not everywhere. I find, though, with uh, when I do pretties, the small, the smaller stencils like the smaller moti uh, patterns are best because if you use big patterns like this you're going to end up removing a lot of the color so that one might not be appropriate for this so i'm going to reserve this for something else but i really like it uh, let's try this though this is a little bit smaller yes me and it's a very cool technique i really like that <clears throat> I was able to bring back a few uh, projects that didn't quite make it. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's in my other book. I've already stored it. I just finished my um, watercolor journal, and I did a flip through of it. Isn't that cool? Huh. Love it. This is great. I love this stencil. Very retro. Smaller scales show up when you cut them, correct? Yeah, that's it. I mean, although, you know, bigger scale patterns are good as well because it all, I mean, everything that you add or you remove uh, contributes to the overall effect, really. Oh, CB, thank you. And <laughs> you watched the flip through? Yeah. Another one bites the dust. Uh, watercolor is probably the first medium that I stuck to for the longest and that I've accomplished stuff with the most. <laughs> I don't know if my sentence made sense, but I think you get the gist. <laughs> I still have an acrylic painting on my kitchen wall that is not finished. And that's, I started painting it when I moved in here four years ago, so... <laughs> I don't know why I did it in this corner. This poor corner is, has been abused. I need to move on. Oh, thank you, Shauna. Hmm. That journal that Kathy gave me. Oh. Yeah, I can't wait to uh, do more. Actually, I will be doing more in my next video. The only problem with the magic eraser is that it leaves little bits and bobs, but you just brush them up. See? Cool, huh? Woo! I like that. Okay, next. Uh, this one was... I'm very bad at demoing stuff, aren't I? Uh, Tribal Squares, J-S-O-O-E. Another fun one. <coughs> Oh, you made a disbound journal, April? Ah, c'est vrai, Anne. Ah! 
Tu parles de ça? Une carte de Noël à cause des étoiles. Hi, uh, Ryan. Hi, Ceci, I can't wait. Oh, thanks for popping in, Ryan. I appreciate that. No need to apologize. Okay. Love circles. So I'm going to take a new sponge. Oh, you put be Yeah. If I was going to make another journal, April, I would definitely use bee paper. Look at those colors. Oh. Hey, Judy. Okay, I think I'm going to stop on this one because <laughs> for fear of removing everything. Ooh, it's shine. Oh, I love the shine. Ah, okay, makes me happy. Where's my other paper? Okay, I'm just going to heat it a little bit. Mouille ton efface magique. Je l'ai fait, Anne. Mais il ne faut pas qu'il y ait trop d'eau parce que s'il y a trop d'eau, ça va glisser en dessous du stencil, du pochoir, puis ça va laisser des empreintes. Ah, si, si, I think I missed something. Do you wet the magic eraser? Yes, I wet it and then I wring it. I remove a lot of the water because if it's too watery, uh, the water is going to seep under the stencil and you're not going to get good results. So it has to be damp, but not wet. Uh, Caledo, you might find those at eye stencil. There's a line called Badass Stencils. I actually have a couple here. Um, see, I have bamboos. And I think that they do have, I think they specialize in tattoo stencils. So you might find that in that section. Yeah, the badass stencils are, I'm looking forward to using this. I like this. That's why I chose this. This was my last order. I wanted to get Patty's uh, freebie stencil, and I ordered this because of Patty. That's all Patty's fault. <clears throat> all right. Uh... Okay, so I'm going to use this again because I didn't use it enough on the other one. I didn't get my my fill of it. I like circles. I'm a sucker for circles and lines. Why are you sorry, Patty? I got the mesh bag <laughs> stencil and it's so awesome. Mm. Okay. Oh, some colors lift easier. For instance, this shopping does lift quite well. Yes. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Patty, it was no hardship. <laughs> Trust me. I really, really wanted that. Uh, the stencil I'm talking about is this, because whenever Patty does a new release, there's always like an exclusive stencil uh, in that where you spend a certain amount, you know, you get the stencil. Look at this. I see so many buildings. <laughs> oh, I love the stencil. Any which way you see it, it's, oh gosh. Anyways. Yes. Uh, this one I used this afternoon, but I'm going to use the Chevron. <laughs> so 
sorry guys i'm i get excited when i craft cc's new movie the seventh sense i see buildings <laughs> that would be an accurate movie <laughs> i see buildings everywhere fatty stencils are amazing for that <sighs> little mickey mouse ears oh i gotta put some of these they're too funny huh yes dots okay you know you can go crazy removing some of this thing so it's patty's move with the <laughs> Monique, you hit it right on the head. Oops. <laughs> oh, so much for PG-13. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eugene. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> and I don't even drink, and I'm having so much fun. Um, I need more of my magic eraser. <laughs> Je suis crampé. <laughs> ouais, ils sont pas mal drôles, hein? Have quite the rap. <laughs> yeah. Patty, you can't undo what you did. We all know you now. That's why we love you. We know what you're about. Uh, the shelving that I'm using is Shinhan. So this one I got at the dollar store, and I know it's the same brand, but it feels different. Pretty gold cool award. Uh, let's see here. Let's flip to another stencil. Ooh, I like this because it has like flower centers, although it shouldn't be a criteria, but I think it's great. Yeah, Angela, that was my, uh, was it New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve? It was my Christmas Eve vlog. I might do a drunken vlog, this uh, uh, live stream this year. If I'm alone for um, New Year's Eve, I might. I hate New Year's Eve because usually I'm alone. And it's been kind of like a sensitive issue when I was married as well. So I kind of want to fight the doldrum, you know. So hanging out with you guys and a bottle of wine, <laughs> I think it's great. Uh... Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? Ah, oh, Calédo, oui, c'est une expression québécoise. Je suis crampée, mais euh, ça veut dire que tu ris tellement que tu as des crampes à l'estomac. Donc, on dit « je suis crampée », ça veut dire « ah, oh, je, je ris tellement que j'en ai mal à l'estomac ».« Come down here with us, CC. Yeah, that would be cool, wouldn't it? » But driving uh, in the winter time and not knowing if there's going to be a snowstorm, eh, I'm brave in the summertime, but... I don't know. The stream is on? Oh, oh, I didn't know that, Debbie. We do a stream a thon on New Year's Eve. How does that work? Like everybody's got their own time slot? I would cancel our New Year's plan to live stream with you. Oh, Pam. <laughs> Forget. Yeah, you forgot, Patty, because it's so hot right now. Even here in Montreal, it's really hot. Oh, that's cool, Jean. I might hop into that. Hop on. Not hop in. Okay, I'll let you know for sure. Cool. Oh, look at this one. This is interesting. I don't know how it's going to translate here, but I really love that one. Tribal Jigsaw. <clears throat> nice see it here I like that all right
right. Thank you, CB. I might do that. Oh, it's hot in here because I have like um, a giant light on the ceiling and my little pad on the right. CC, you can do a bottle of wine and watercolor stream on New Year's. I'll get a bottle of two. Yeah, CC, I, um, I think I'm going to do that. We each stream about 90 minutes or so and pass it off to each other. And it's lots of fun. Oh, that's a cool idea. All right. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit more on this. And then I'm going to move on to the last piece. Let's see here. I want to find some small. Ooh. Okay, this is one of Patty's, but I do like the circle here. Or this one, this one. Let's do this one. Now, this is a mask because it doesn't have the sides. This one is a Patty Stencil Geo Geometry Mask PTP161M. Love it. Here, I'm going to use this one here in the green. Oh, that's too bad, Patty. I mean, it's great for you because New Year's Eve should be with friends and family. I agree. Oh, that's cool. See that? That's really cool. Okay. Move on to the next one. The last one is, ooh, this one is bold and bright. Woohoo! That's going to be interesting. I need to remove my beautiful necklace. I'm too hot. <laughs> Kathy, your necklace never leaves my neck. I, uh, I wear it every day. I love it. Oh. Here, Kathy made me this beautiful pendant necklace with all kinds of stuff in it. I love it. Uh, this one, yeah, that, that one is like very um, colorful. Let's do some zigzag and some bullseye. Aren't they great, Patty? I love my, my necklace. It's my style, like totally me. Okay. So this is another one of Joan's stencils. Yes. Isn't that cool? No speak English one. Uh, this one I love, but I don't think it's going to show up as much. Well, let's try it. I don't want to remove too much color. Here, let's do it here. I want to try them all, really. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't show up as much. You see, when you use larger patterns... If he had these skittles, that's so true. <laughs> this will be my skittles free. Okay. Um, there was one. Yes. Oops. There's a couple of patties I want to use. This one I used in a painting recently. I love this one. There's this one, but I have the bigger one. Um, and um, I just ordered the eight by eight because I think it's a great stencil to have. 
This one too I have in the bigger style. This one too. This one too. Oh, this one's fun too. Okay, hold on. They're all fun. <laughs> what am I supposed to choose? <laughs> Too many choices, guys. Oh, thank you, Juan. I appreciate that. Gracias. Okay. I'm going to use this, and then I'm going to use the little lines. <sighs> You know, it's it's also interesting to see it through the stencil, all the colors. Hi, Laura. How are you? Laura's from here as well. I'm making pretties, Laura. That is one of your fave. Yeah. Um, I think I need a new eraser. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, Laura lives in Montreal, uh, Jean, another fellow Canadian. Canuck. <laughs> Patty. Patty's my pimp. <laughs> uh, everybody knows about it, Patty. But thank you. Betty's a kind soul for sure. Ugh. Love it. Oh, Kira, you're from Ontario? Whereabouts in Ontario? I was there. I was in Hamilton last week. Pimping me out. Yeah, you're good at that too. <laughs> I like those dots here. My gosh, I'm ruining. I'm ruining the uh, the sponge here, but having too much fun to stop. Another can I CC stop copying me? <laughs> One hour and a half north of Toronto in Cottage Country. Oh, cool. See, I just used the row of dots. I love that. Okay. Gage! Gage is in the house, guys. Say hi to Gigi. Oh, my friends are here. Deanne is here. Gigi's here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was an unintentional Oakley voice, Patty. I'm sorry to offend. <laughs> oh, April. April, April. BTS was amazing. Did your daughter go? Oh my gosh, they put out such a put on such a good show. These little boys can certainly move. <gasps> Patty, look at this. Oh, I hear the angels descending on that building. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yay, Gigi, everybody's happy to see you. All right, some more removing. Oh, 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 no, 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 don't do that. And then I think I'm going to splash a bit of black on this. I don't have black on this one. Oh, I love this. I know, Joan, right? I love this. Ah! Okay. It does look yummy, huh, Gigi? It's like it was it started out as barf on a page. <laughs> it's gonna end up looking like pretty flowers. Oh Ryan, how can you not see buildings with this? I mean, seriously. This is building at its best. 
<clears throat> I need to move on because I'm going to keep on using it. Uh, let's see some circle, like circle-ish lines this way, maybe. I need to switch my sponge. Hieroglyph the Skittles. Wait. Ah, mais j'ai stencil the hieroglyph. Si je pourrais l'utiliser. There's 96 people watching. That's cool, Stacy. Color is starting to change quickly now. Jane, quite beautiful at the moment. Oh, Kira. Yeah, hey, here it's just starting. Like some of the trees have uh, colors, but because it's been so hot. Oh, oh hold me back. <laughs> Hold me back. Oh, good night, Susan Ann. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us. Well, 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 well. I'm glad I got the 8x8, eight eight, uh, Patty. I love the bigger one, but... For small pieces like this, this is perfect. Oh, so many possibilities. Okay, I need to stop. So now I'm going to flick a little bit of black on here. Clean up my surface a little bit. Oh my God. In Illinois, it started a month ago? That's crazy. Crazy. Summer is short enough as it is. All right. Oh, you know what I wanted to do, though? <laughs> I wanted to add color through the stencil with a sponge. I'll go get another sponge. Okay, so I'm going to try and use black watercolor, but I'm not 100% positive that it's going to work. Uh, this afternoon, I used some of the Aquanauts uh, iridescent colors, not iridescent, shimmery colors, and it worked. Regular watercolor pigment will work. Oh, how about I use this one? That's one of my uh, creamers colors that I mixed. July we broke historical records for rain. Oh really Patty? We barely had any rain here and it was so hot. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some and put that in my well. And I'm not going to waste what I have. I'm going to put that in here. Okay, this is an experiment that might make or break, but I'm going in. I am going for it. Mm, not gonna show much. Yeah. Uh, it's not black enough. There's a lot of gold in it. So I'm going to use regular black. This is Senegier's. No, is it? Oh, this is Paints Gray. It's not black. It's Senegier's. It's bull. Senadier's Paints Gray, which is my favorite Paints Gray. <gasps> Look at this. Woo! I wish I hadn't wasted that. Right, Zandra? <laughs> I teach people to clean off their brushes on uh, other paper, which they're already out, and I don't even do it. Jean, you don't need black watercolor, really, because you can mix a black with all the primary colors. The three primary co colors will give you a nice black. 
I just have it because I was, I, I do have lunar black, which this one is um, <laughs> what's the, granulating. So it's a little bit different, but I prefer paints gray. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Mm. Stencil, ah! Here it is. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, no, it's too liquidy. Too liquidy. I think I will add... Um, yes, I'll leave that in. Um... Should I use India ink or paint? I guess I'm better off using paint. Because India ink might run. I really do want to add some stuff from this stencil on here. Yes, paint dries faster for sure and is not as liquidy, Jeej. You're absolutely right. I'm just looking for a surface to lay down my paint. Any paper will do. Here. I haven't used paint in such a long time. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> ah, paint, dirty, yuck. <laughs> Gigi will have a good laugh at that. Bye. All right. Um, I'm going to remove the water I have on this sponge and grab the paint. That's nice. This is going to make for very interesting pretties. <laughs> okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I'm loving the black too, John. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice and just a smidge of reflection from or shimmer from the other paints. Should I add gold dots on this? <laughs> gold splatters, Jean? Do we splatter? <laughs> White blessings? Oh, that's an idea. You know what? I'm going to use my their leftover Copic white ink for this. Do you need to ask? <laughs> Patty's like, yes to gold. Dee's just like, no, wait. Oh. Just want me so I can close my... Yeah, I'll warn you, <laughs> Jean. <laughs> okay, close your eyes, Jean. I'm going in. <laughs> You guys are crazy. Okay, I need to hide my cup of tea. <laughs> Should I do vigorous splashing or smooth splashing? <laughs> I'm going to try gently first. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Jeej. I completely forgot about the white dots. Ah, yes. Okay, Jean, I'm done. <laughs> you can open your eyes. Yes. Okay. 
Oh no, you don't like splatters either, Laura? <laughs> Jean, I didn't say stop breathing. <laughs> you can breathe if even if your eyes are closed. <laughs> but this is a uh, Copic opaque ink. It's not acrylic paint, so it is reconstitutable with water. Approuvé, merci Anne. Okay. Okay, we're leaving this piece alone because it's pretty as is. We're gonna move on to this one. This one needs more black splatters. I don't care what you say, Jean, but this one is gonna get some splattering. I just need to uncurl this paper. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. Uh, are you sure you want to cut these up? Yeah, of course, Betty. Oh, I got plenty. I have a drawer full. Look. Oh, no, I can't because my stencils are resting on the drawer. But I have a huge drawer full of rejects. So, you know, it's just a piece of paper. There's always the next one. Thanks, JC. Stacy. Braddy Patty. I like your name. All right. Um... You know what, though? Just because I can't resist. Um, I'm going to use this. <laughs> With the sponge. Oh! Oh! Um, no, but I'm going to do a little bit of stenciling. Rose gold splatters with these colors. Yes, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right, Patty. I shall do that. Okay, I don't want to go too dark on this. <laughs> Love this stencil. Okay. Rose gold. Rose gold. So I'm going to use Patty's rose gold, which is also sold at Sandra's store. Sandra, are you still selling the rose gold, Patty's rose gold? It is the absolute perfect rose gold. Bar none. Uh... If you are new to live streams, occasionally you hover over the video area. And if the little dot beside the... Oh, you're not answering me, right, Jean? You're answering someone else? <laughs> I'm running out of space, guys. Would gouache work to put through the stencils? Absolutely. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, gouache, yes, because it's more opaque. And you don't, I mean, you can dilute it with water, but you don't have to. I have a new one to Mermaid Lagoon. Oh, Zandra, put your link in there. Um, I want to use your blue as well. So uh, Z is making... Patty's Rose Gold, and she's selling it in her store. Jane, close your eyes. <gasps> oh, my word. Do you remember when we used to get excited about acrylic paint? Well, you probably are. still are, but, you know, when we used to drip and dot? I get the same excitement <laughs> with watercolor paint. Uh, it is... A little blurry, not like before, not quite as clear as on my iPad. So I have a feeling it is YouTube and not CC. Are you guys not seeing this properly? Gala, it's in the mail. Your check is in the mail. Oh. 
Okay. You see fine? Okay. <clears throat> so there's the rose gold. It's not as vivid as um, you see it well on the black. That's because I have a lot of uh, pink in the background. But you can see the dots. Okay, but I still think that I need a little bit of white, so I'm going to dot a little bit of white. My heart beats faster and I get hot. <laughs> yeah. Who says art is not exciting? Huh. Oh, Jean, sorry. I didn't warn you. Oh, no, um, Stacy, it will never be as clear as my videos, that's for sure, because I record at 60 frames per second at 1080p. This will only allow me to stream at 720, and it's 30 frames per second, so it can never be as clear. I will take photos and share on Instagram, so woo, make sure you follow me on Instagram. So there's this other piece, and the last one is this one, which really looks Christmassy, I forget. Who said that but it's totally true on this i'm going to use zandra's mermaid's tail blue no whale sails blue <laughs> i have no room to put my stuff and i'm tempted to uh stencil with white on this <gasps> that would be nice but this is 90 pounds so it's very flimsy but it's 100% cotton, though. Um, I have white here. Oh. Stencil with, oh, with silver. Stencil with silver and then white dots? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll go get it. Iridescent silver fine. That would do. Yeah, I did um I didn't buy the Manicam software. This is a free version. That's why you're seeing the watermark at the bottom of the screen. I just want to test it out to see if if I like it before I splurge. Black splatters. Mm-hmm. Whoa. It's bloated on me. Okay. Oh, now I have to choose another stencil. Oh, you know what? Stars. <gasps> One of Jones's uh, stencils. Uh, this one? Yes. Cece, when you glue down your watercolor paintings to another paper, what type of glue do you use? Uh, the only time that I glue my paper down is for the pretties, and I use uh, Dina Wakely's gel medium. Any gel medium would do. First world problems? What does that mean? I don't know what you mean, Kira. Hi, Kate. Welcome. Hi, Amalia. Okay, so let's stencil some silver stars on this. Some circles. 
Yeah, Kira. Uh, yeah, that's what you were referring to. It is a very big decision. <laughs> mm, I don't know if it's the um, my paint. It's not as visible as I thought it would. I mean, you can see it if I tilt the paper. I didn't add enough paint. Yeah, you can see it, um, Joan, but it's not not as shiny as the um, the marker for artists that I used the PBO marker earlier. Boy, that really it it it's just it's like a mirror. And I don't want to use it on here because it's going to add too much. I messed up this one, but it's okay. See how pretty? Ah, love it. Okay, I have more paint, so I'm going to use. I'm going to use it all up. Okay, and white splatters, merci Anne. Why does everything that CC does come out amazing? No, okay, guys, all right, here's the proof. I'm gonna show you my drawer, you don't believe me. I mean, I do appreciate the compliment, but that's entirely not true. <laughs> Do you see this? Like, okay, hold on. See how thick this is? These are all rejects. <gasps> Sorry about that. Uh, Patty, I saw your email about um, Anna Victoria Calderon's class. Very, very tempting. Uh, but... I'm not sure about the budget, but that would be awesome. Is Zandra joining you? Or anybody else for that matter? Oh, oh well, Lena. <laughs> no, no, no. But you know what, though? I'm very grateful for the rejects because every one of them has taught me a lesson has allowed me to improve and allowed me to make pretties. <laughs> oh, that's right, Sandra. You're getting surgery. When is your surgery again? Oh, it's going to be fine. You're going to be okay. It's going to go well. Gayla, are you going? Oh, November 7th. Okay. Yeah, and you've got a long recovery ahead of you. Um, black or white splatters on this? I think making bad art is an important part of the process of making great art. Agreed. Black, yes. Okay. Yeah. Every, any art is progress. Any art. Better than no art, because if you don't art, you can't progress. Okay. Jane, close your eyes. Les deux. <laughs> tu veux que je mélange le blanc et le noir? And, mm. I don't know. I'll start very sparingly here. I think the white would have made it look uh, very Christmassy. Oh, 
I just had an idea. Maybe I can do Christmas pretties. Oh. I just had an idea. Okay, I'm going in for a white now. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Same thing for Picasso, I guess. Everybody... I'm sure a lot of people went, what is that? <laughs> Misunderstood art. All right. I know this may seem like a lot, but once you cut it down into smaller pieces, it's not, it's not as busy. Oh no, Amalia. Ew, Gail. What? Am I reading correctly? He freezes people? Oh, okay. Goodness. I'll pretend I never read this. This is crazy. Human bodies? I do hope they're dead. <laughs> no, I've never seen this. And I don't want to. <laughs> Not interested. At all. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> what? Okay, all right. Not my cup of tea. Okay, so let's dry this. And while I do, I'm going to try and pay attention to the chat. because People donate their bodies? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Patty! <laughs> oh... <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, boy. I think he'd be very interested in a body that, and actually, um, do the tango in any restaurant at any given moment. <laughs> and who moons people? <laughs> Uh, I didn't say that. Okay. <sighs> Time to cut. Is this dry? Mm, let's zap it a little bit. <clears throat> oh, Patty. You're in the room. I think you should be proud of all that we said about you. Did you hear that bike, that motorbike? <laughs> Lovely sound. I know I did one more, but where is it? Oh, there it is. Gayla, <laughs> I think you need to boot yourself out. Maya, I agree. Patty is a mad scientist and she's an artist. <laughs> okay, so I've got these three that I'm going to cut into. Oh, I really do like this one. I think it's my favorite. Before that, allow me to clean up my surface a little bit. It's driving me crazy. I'm not gone. 
I'm still here. I just don't have enough room. <laughs> oh, okay. So I need scissors. I need my background stamp. I need card thingies. Okay, so uh, the ones that I, the last batch of pretties that I made, I had stamped this script to the background and I really like this and <laughs> I thought it was out of cards, but I actually have some leftover circles from um, a previous session, which I'm going to use eventually. So I had some backup. So I have one card backing. Uh, before I cut those up, I'm going to stamp on these. And the stamp that I like to use, I'm not very original. I keep using the same thing over and over again. But if it works, why reinvent the wheel, right? Uh, so it's this stamp by Magenta. I'm not sure if you can still get it. Um... But the website is www.magentastyle.com. They have an online store. And there's no... Oh, here's the number. 07916-0 for this stamp. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to get a block. I don't have large blocks anymore. I think I got rid of them. I don't. No blocks. <laughs> I'll use my hands. It's okay. And I'm going to use archival ink. Oh, you guys are talking about knee replacements. Oof. CC, did you get package? No, I didn't get package. <laughs> uh, no. Last package I got uh, was my stencils from I Stencils. And um, I, I, I wonder if there's something wrong with the mail here, because I know they were um, discussing some mail interruption or service interruption. Um, but um, I know Lucy has sent me something, and I still haven't received it. Now, this could go totally wrong, because I don't have a large block. I I should use this. It's a little bit crooked, but not bad. See how cool this is? I love this background. I think the postal workers were going on strike. But uh, the last time I read something... Oh, did I step it the right way? Yeah. Um, it, it was supposed to be quiet for now. But maybe it is affecting normal service, whether they go on strike or not. Who's going to jail? <laughs> I'm missing something, right? Ah, love it.
Mm. Who's in chat jail? Oh. Did you do something bad, Patty, to be in chat jail? Did Gail do something to you? <laughs> okay, I'm going to do one more. Uh, what I'm doing right now, this is kind of like cool to do in front of a, a movie or something. You know, you make a whole batch of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we okay. wish you lots of luck, Xandra, for your upcoming surgery. Definitely. We will be thinking of you for sure. All right, so did that. Now I can cut into these. Um, Zandra, they're still doing both knees at the same time. I don't understand that. <laughs> All right. Um, Look at that gold on that puppy. Woo okay, so I'm just going to cut. And the cutting is the same as my previous pretties that I've done. They're not cut perfectly. I like that rough edge. You know, I didn't cut the exact circle. I just went whatever. Okay. Will you let us know, Z? Both at the same time? I don't get that. Now, I have to remember when I cut these to cut some of them smaller. I always forget because I don't like to have the same size on one card. And when I get to these parts, what I do is I cut leaves out of these so that I don't waste. And my leaves are usually pretty small. I mean, this is quite small. but You don't need bigger than that. Um, let's see here. I'm going to cut into all three papers, but I'm not going to finish them all tonight, obviously. I like that I have some with um, some elements from the stencils to play with. I'm going to do another leaf here. Uh, I want one with black in it. Okay. There's a nice sweet spot right here. See, when I do pretties, I look for sweet spots. And when I paint, I look for portals. <laughs> Everything has an explanation. <laughs> Ooh. Nice.
Okay. Now I need to cut some more leaves for this one. So one. Two, three, how many do one, two, three, four? <clears throat> Five. Eh. Okay, so I'm going to put this batch to the side. There's plenty more. So you see with one sheet you can make, and that's a small sheet, you can make so many pretties with that. So many. I mean, I will never go through this whole pile that I showed you earlier because, or I would probably need to find more um, projects to do with these types of painting. Oh, that's good news, Jean. I wish I could remember what colors I used on this. <laughs> I think it's the three colors that Margaret sent me from uh, the Aquanut colors. Uh, I want to grab some more of that gold here. So let's. Oh, and I need some stars. So you see that from something super busy, you don't have to worry about it being too busy because when you cut them down, you get pieces like this. Oops. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, let me cut some leaves. Okay. And then the last one. I need to get in here so badly. <laughs> oh, this is probably my favorite style. Excuse me.
Two, three. Oops. What are circles for? Um, I'm making flowers with these circles, Patty. So one, two, three, four. And I put three, I'm making cards with them. So, um, I'm using three circles for the flowers and then I cut the leaves and then I'll draw the stems. Um, yeah, I could keep cutting into this one. I, I think it's my favorite. Okay, so now I can put those together. What time is it? 9.29, oh my gosh. Va tu faire des fleurs avec tes cercles? Oui, Jocelyne. C'est exactement ce que je vais faire. OK. Je vais commencer par celle-ci. So, I usually put three. And I kind of have a recipe that I like to follow. I kind of have like these two clustered, kind of like towards the top left. And I have one down here. And I kind of like that line. So, I'm going to use that to create the stem. So I'm gonna grab a micron pen. You can use any pen. At this stage, it doesn't really matter what pen you're using uh, because I'm not gonna add watercolor on this. So whether it's permanent or not, doesn't really matter. French language sounds so pretty. <laughs> but you know, you can say this with pretty much any language that you don't know because it sounds exotic because you don't know it. Uh, thanks, Stacy. All right, so um, kind of like this, maybe this one flat, or should I keep them all straight like this? Maybe like this. Uh, no, you can't say that about German. I think German and Russian, too, have their own special cachet, <laughs> if I want to speak French. I'm learning Korean right now, and I just love the sound of it. Russian can be pretty. Yes, I agree, Amalia. I totally agree. Okay, so um, I have the Micron 03, and I'm not going to glue this down yet, because if I glue it down, it's hard to get underneath. So what I do is I just move it up a little bit and I will draw the stem. And sometimes I extend the stem all the way out of that stamped uh, image in the background. And I just kind of like make wavy line and double it up like so. I hope you can see this well. Hold on. Okay, so this one is here. This one will be here. And also, it's easier to make the line because if everything is glued down and you have two, the, the stem goes through two flowers, uh, that's really tough. Oh, you want me to say something in Korean? Uh, <laughs> that means hello. Um, that's my name <laughs> in Korean. I can write it better than I can pronounce it. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm just learning. So I just started my lessons two weeks ago and I'm loving it. Our teacher is really funny. Okay, so this one here. Ah, tu vas essayer demain, Anne? Ah, c'est super le fun. I, I find making pretties can be really relaxing. And, I mean, you're recycling at the same time, which I'm all for. 
Um, Gail, I've always been into languages. I love languages. Absolutely love learning about other uh, people's cultures and stuff. And I've been watching Korean TV for a good six years now and listening to K-pop or any Korean music for that matter. So it's not a foreign language to me anymore. Okay, so now it's time to glue. Ugh. Three years of Spanish and I can barely order off Taco Bell menu. <laughs> Fatty. <laughs> I can order in a Korean restaurant, which is quite funny. Uh, okay. So I'm going to glue, let's see, this one down because I might... Put this one over top the other one. Oh, I have a feeling this is clogged up. Mm -hmm. Oh. I mean, I, I taught myself English with um i'm going to date myself here but you all know how old i am anyways but i taught myself english with the partridge family because i was in love with david cassidy <laughs> and then i went to english school my last two years of high school so that's how i learned my english i don't know what the heck is wrong with this one uh here let's put it like that <laughs> what CB David Cassidy was a hunk. I loved his hair. <laughs> now, Gail, I didn't learn my English in school. They don't really teach a lot of English in school. I mean, they do, but if you want to learn English, you kind of have to have English friends or work in an English environment. Okay, this is driving me nuts. I'm just going to use my two way adhesive for now and reinforce later. Sean Cassidy, no, I see, I didn't like Sean Cassidy. <laughs> and I didn't like Donny Osmond either. <laughs> I liked David Cassidy, Jane Michael, uh, is it Jan Michael Vincent? I can't remember how to pronounce it, but he was gorgeous. Rick Springfield. <laughs> Leif Garrett. See, Leif Garrett was a little bit after my time. <laughs> yeah, I had posters of David Cassidy, Gail. Only at our cottage, not in the city. I was not allowed to put up posters in the city. I used to make scrapbooks uh, with Tiger Beat magazines. I used to cut up the pictures and then I had my little dictionary and I would translate the paragraphs word for word. <laughs> oh, the monkeys. No, I wasn't into the monkeys. Oh, Tom Selleck. Oh, hey, Patty. That was way after, but yeah. April, you know Tiger Beat <laughs> magazine? <laughs> I spent all my allowances on that. 16 Tiger Beat magazines. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Now, what I'm going to do with this one is probably doodle a little bit around. <clears throat> Leo DiCaprio. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had his album too, uh, David Cassidy's album. Okay. So uh, let's see here. I may do a dashed line around this one. Oh. Boy, talk about Jimmy Osmond? Nope. Oh, Michael Landon. Yeah, he's a looker. Was. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Kira, I saw Duran Duran about 10 times in my life in concert. I was a huge Duran Duran fan. My first ever boy band. Um, I saw them also a few years back. 
I want to say maybe five years when they came to Montreal. Yep. <clears throat> Sam Elliott. Who is he? I don't know who Sam Elliott is. Is he an actor, Patty? <laughs> I don't know who he is. Sorry. He's an actor? Oh, okay. Movie star, Sam Elliott. I'll have to research him. Yes, you would know Sam Elliott. Jeez. Okay. But now you're talking about like actors. I'm talking about singers. I was always a big music fan, more than movie or TV. Uh, what I'm doing right now is like faux stitching around these with white because there's quite a bit of black in there. And I think they look pretty. Oh, they look pretty. <laughs> I forgot to glue the leaves. Oh, hey, you Jack, Hugh Jackman, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks, Joan. Okay, I'm gonna have to get out some more gel. Uh, molding paste. I haven't gone. I'm just looking for some gel. Soft gel. Oh. <coughs> meatloaf? No, I was never into meatloaf. I do love to eat meatloaf, but not the guy. I really do like meatloaf, though. It's good. Uh. <laughs> All right. So the leaves. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you can sing. Yeah. Granted. I was into Led Zeppelin a lot. I used to be a heavy collector. And my guy was Jimmy Page. Oh, meatloaf is so good. Not the singer, the 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 food. Love meatloaf. The GBs. <laughs> we used to call them GBs. Oh, Stacy. Yay. Oh yeah, he was so hot. <laughs> Mysterious. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use this soft gel. It's matte to glue the leaves. I completely forgot I was doing a live stream, guys. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, da, 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 da. No, I was not a big Beatle fan. Sorry. Oh, I did a painting homage to one of their songs a while ago. Oh, you did, Gail? <gasps> I have, I'm looking at my, I, I still have a, uh, I, I sold most of my bootlegs. I used to trade bootlegs, Led Zeppelin bootlegs. I sold most of them or gave them away. But I'm holding on to uh, some memorabilia that cost me a fortune. I went to conventions. I had my own IRC chat channel strictly for led zeppelin <laughs> i'm a nerd <sighs> yeah debbie i can totally relax now that the camera is set up i hope that you guys can see what i'm doing <laughs> Okay, so there's the first pretty. And I usually don't put any sentiment, but 
when I need one, I will pull one out and then I will write uh, with a thicker marker, either thank you or happy birthday or whatever. You see how cool this is? It doesn't take much and you can make so many of them. Cashmere. Oh, your ringtone is cashmere? JC, no wonder, no wonder we clicked. Ah, love that song. Okay, so that was card number one. Let's do these. Who got married and didn't wait for you? That song I did a paint. Oh, did you? I think I did one uh, with Stairway to Heaven. I wrote the lyrics on one of my very first watercolor uh, painting, which is funny because Stairway to Heaven is not my favorite Led Zeppelin song. Doctor Who. I still haven't watched that show. Yep. Big, 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 big Led Zeppelin fan. Thanks, Gail, Stacy. All right. Now this one. Bad to the bone, Patty. <laughs> it suits you. <laughs> oh. My painting was from a challenge in a private art group. Oh, very nice. Okay. So I think this one has a beautiful star, but you can only catch it when the height, when the light uh, hits it properly. <clears throat> you know what? I should have used a lighter a lighter color for the stems on this. And um, I know Patty will tell you otherwise because she always says that my lines are very straight, but they're not. And I make them crooked on purpose because if you miss, nobody will ever know. <laughs> Elton John, Bette Midler, great artists, yes. <clears throat> okay, so let's glue these. I'm gonna glue this one first. Cece, did you just say you haven't watched Doctor Who? I did say that. And I don't want to start because I have about 30 years to catch up. So, no. Uh, I saw them both live at the, uh, the CNE CC. Oh, cool. Elton John and Bette Midler. Wow. I never had the pleasure of uh, seeing Led Zeppelin when they were the original unit but I did see Paige Plant in concert when they got back together I even traveled to LA on my 40th birthday I I was training in Phoenix I was training um, a sales force and I took a quick plane <laughs> after my training session at three o'clock one day hopped on a plane Went to L.A., met a fellow collector, went to the concert, barely slept, and came back the next morning at, on a 5 o'clock flight to Phoenix to teach again, to train. <laughs> uh, dilute, dilute. When was that, Stacy? When did I say dilute, dilute? I say a lot of things and I don't remember what I say. So <laughs> please remind me. Uh, am I the only one that's never watched Doctor Who?
Oh, delete, delete. Yeah, see, I these are all inside jokes, and I... Oh, I think my right light is uh, is going to die soon. No, I haven't. CC, don't even know what it is about. Doctor Who is the show, this uh, British show. That's all I know <laughs> about Doctor Who. <laughs> it's a sci-fi show, I do believe, right? Oh, good. I'm not the only one. Good, good, good. Yeah, and I know that over the years, CB, they've changed quite a uh, Doctor Who uh, is a different actor. How many actors so far? Doctor Who's on first. Yeah, that's from um, Forrest Gump, right? <clears throat> Lost count. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of investment to watch all of these shows. Oh, um, if it's darker here, it's because my light needs to be shut down. It's not working anymore. I love sci-fi, but I don't know. For some reason, I, I don't want to start watching Doctor Who. Oh, I forgot to doodle on this one. Thirteen doctors? Thirteen actors? Jeez. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm just going to make squigglies in the middle of some of these. Actually, all three of them are going to get squeaklies. And because um, the, the flowers in themselves have such a busy pattern going on, you don't need much to revamp them. Uh, my last step will be to put stickles on them because you can't have pretties without stickles. You're not a real geek unless you are well-versed in Doctor Who starting from 1964. Well. <laughs> oh, Stacey. Okay. See, I even forget what I say in my videos. <laughs> Although I get to listen to it over and over again when I edit. It doesn't sink in. <laughs> okay. Now I have, I don't know which ones to choose for this one. Mm. Oh, I can make two cards. Ooh. Like this and this. Uh, Whoa, this one is crooked. <laughs> What are people watching on Netflix or Amazon Prime these days? I don't watch any of them. I watch Korean drama on, on an app on my computer. Let's put it this way here. Oops. Amalia, uh, uh, for the longest time, I didn't have cable. I just got it because uh, when I renewed my package for my phone, they were giving me 
10 channels for free in a box. So I'm like, okay. And it reduced my the amount that I paid every month. Monique, oh, Korean dramas, they're, um, you know, they have all, all kinds. They have uh, suspense, thrillers, they have like rom-com, um, all kinds. I watch them with subtitles because I'm not fully bilingual. But they're very, they're different because they're, um, They have a different way of doing things. Uh, relationships in Asia are different than here in the Western world. It's a lot slower and a little bit more respectful, I want to say. Maybe that's one of the aspects that attracted me to these. It's just different and it's fun. Oh, Stacy, um, you're talking about my, uh, yeah, I have a plan where uh, my internet, my cell phone, and my cable TV is from the same company. And so when I switched my cell phone to this company, the package that I already had was just internet and TV. And when I added my cell phone, it was actually cheaper to get the TV and the phone and all that from that provider than what I had previously with another provider for my my mobile. So everything combined was cheaper. So that's why I decided to get the TV. I only watch it, um, I only watch the uh, Formula One race on my TV, that's all. Uh, okay, so, oh, leaves. <laughs> Uh, somebody was saying about Japanese movies or something. I watched a few Japanese shows and they're hilarious. I do love um, Korean reality TV because they play a lot of games and it's so funny. Let's do the opposite for this one. Let's put this little guy here. Ryan, where are you, Mad Ryan? Where do you live? Edmonton? Hmm. Is it cold in Edmonton yet? Or are you going through the same spiel we are? Uh, matte medium and gel medium dries completely dry so you can use it over top. Yeah, it's it dries completely transparent. And a little one here. <laughs> okay, so I'm done gluing. Uh, for this one, I'm going to take a bigger marker. I have a medium here. $200 a month just for TV? Hey. Or as they would say in Korea, I go. <laughs> All right. I'm going to make large dots around this guy because it needs to pop. 
It's a little bland against the background. I'm going to have to end that uh, that stream soon. I just want to add the stickles. And then I shall call it a night. I didn't realize I've been streaming for this long. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> and you guys are still hanging around. <laughs> uh. Okay. All right. Stickles. Stickles, stickles. I use the uh, diamond, what's it called? Diamond stickles, <laughs> just straight up diamond. Uh, but I do have other colors. Hi, Rankin. Aisha gave bags under my eyes this morning. Oh, my God. Joan, go to bed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. Now, the stickles will not show its true self <laughs> unless it's dry, but I added some in the middle for these. Uh, this one, I'm going to add a little bit in the center, and then I'm just going to dot the background like this just by plopping a bit here and there. I'm not sure if it shows up. I can't see it on my screen. Cece has the cleanest place I know and I love it. How do you know it's clean? It is not. <laughs> you should see my floors. I mean, I have watercolor on all scattered everywhere. And no, it's not clean at all. Let's do some splatters here too. Controlled splatters. Are, are those acceptable, Jean? Those little dotting in the background? All right, let's see if I can turn this back on a little bit. I'm not sure that it shows. Est-ce que tu vas appliquer du medium glaze au final? Non, Anne, euh, je vais les laisser comme ça. C'est des cartes que j'envoie par la poste. C'est pas, euh, c'est des cartes. C'est pas des peintures en tant que telles. Euh, J'ai pas la patience d'appliquer du medium par-dessus. Thank you, Gail. So that's it. That is my little live session. Thank you for hanging out this long. <laughs> hanging around, hanging out. Well, thanks for hanging with me, I should say. They're cute. And as you see, I can do so many with all of these. And I have a drawer full. <laughs> so I have enough. If I were to retire today and just do that, I would have to live a very long life to get through all of my discarded, rejected pile. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for sticking around. You guys are troopers. I probably have bags under my eyes, too. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm not sure that I'm going to be a regular streamer, but I do want to uh, do more. Patty, are you streaming tomorrow night? Oh, good. Y'all loved it? Good. So it was better this time around, right? So we can all say thank you to Jean for helping out, setting up my cameras. Cool. Patty, heads up, Jean and Jean. Uh, what time, Patty? Did I miss it? Anyways, I'll text you. You can tell me. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to head out.
uh, remove the contact lenses and all that crap. And I hope you have a good rest of the night. Thanks for hanging out, hanging around for so long. And I will see you soon. I will see, see you soon. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>